Hi everyone, it's Monday, it's March 1st, and we're here at the Mystical Magical Mansion and I wanted to give you a little update as to what was going on today. I'm in my painting clothes, got my husband's old white t-shirt, my bib overalls on, so I'm ready to roll to get some work done today, but I wanted to give you a quick little tour and let you see um, what's happening today. So. I am going to be painting up a bedroom up on the third floor, up in the servants' quarters, but I thought I would give you a little tour um, on the way up there because this is an interesting part of the house. So I'm gonna come around. So you may remember that is the stencil little hallway, that unique little nook hallway that I um, stenciled a while back just to make it look more interesting. But this area all is kind of like this, was this really dreary, dull little space it's the stairway going up into the servants' quarters. So it comes off the kitchen. Again, there's a door. There used to be a door here to keep that door separate and locked. So there's our kitchen. And this leads up to the stairs. So the servants would have come into the back door. There's a servant's entrance. Um, or they would have come through the basement, come through here, and then used this back stairway um, so that they could be kept very quiet and separate from the family. So let's head upstairs. Let's be taking a little stroll up the stairs. Um, there's a landing here on second floor. And this has a sweet little window that looks out onto the carriage house, out to the neighborhood. Um, it's quite lovely. I like it. And then um, this is the second part. And there's a little landing up here. So we'll walk up here. So this area... This little landing leads to the main part of the house. So as you can see, that's the master bedroom and the bathrooms. But the interesting thing about all of this is these big heavy doors that keep um, the servant spaces and the family spaces very separate. So that door has, it's beautiful glass. It's opaque, opaque though, so you couldn't, you wouldn't be able to see um, what was going on in there. The servants wouldn't be able to see if someone was going, you know, out in the hallways or doing their things. And there's locks, lots of locks. Still has the great crystal doorknobs, which all of the doors in this house do remarkably. So I'm gonna leave that open. It's just nice to have the airflow. And if the do doors get shut, my dogs have to follow me everywhere. So anyway, okay, so we're headed up to the third floor. We've got this sweet little, look at how cute that hallway is. This sweet little curved stairway. So we're heading up. And again, another window at the top of the stairs with a nice view of the neighborhood. There's our carriage house. Um, I'm trying to see if you can see from this angle. You should be able to see the top of the Jocelyn Castle. Yes, there it is. So the Jocelyn Castle is just a couple blocks away from us, which I think is such a delight. I love that you can look out the window and see that. And then we're up here on the third floor. So I'm flip around. So this stairway, so we have, if you look outside of our house, there's lots of really sharp peaked roof lines. And so this would be one of them. Um, so it kind of cuts into this hallway. But this hallway would be the, um, all of the rooms for the servants. So bedrooms, there's a bathroom on this side. Um, that comes up into the attic, attic, spooky place. Um, I'll come just a little further down this hallway so you can see. So there's four bedrooms along this wing. And then this is the um, little bathroom upstairs. I've showed you guys this in photos. So this was a servant's bathroom, has the clawfoot tub, all of the original tile, this sweet round window. I just love this room. It makes me so happy. And again, like if you look, she has big doors to lock it and locks, crystal doorknobs. So it is just a really cool, it's a cool area of the house. I really like it. So the bedroom that I'm going to be working on today is in this far corner. And again, like look at all these cool lines of the ceiling. Like this matches the roof lines, those really big peaked roof lines that we have up above us. So, okay, so this bedroom is um, just when we came here it was just being used for storage. So it's really bright and sunny. Um, it had shelves, still has shelves, which I'm sure were built, you know, later. They weren't original to the room, but they were built 
and this room was being used as storage. So when we moved in, you can see the shelves there, um, and then the nice big wooden door. And there's a little trim up top. And again, more shelves on that side, so I'm kind of just going in a circle. If you look at the windows though, they're just gorgeous. They have like all the original wood fretwork. They're in amazing shape and they still have like the wood storm um, window that's intact. And I'm telling you, it's warm up here. I mean, it's kind of remarkable. We don't, we don't even have the heat turned on on this level. It just rises from the other levels and it keeps it really warm. So this room is painted the god awful beige that was in our entryway and I'm trying to think of what other rooms we've gone over in this beige. The hallway, the stairs, like if this paint is everywhere, they must have just had like 90 gallons of it. It's not a happy beige. I don't like it. I'm not an anti-beige person. This is just feels sad. It feels kind of dirty and dingy. So, um, so I'm going to be painting the ceiling white and the walls. I'm just going to go downstairs and get one of our buckets of paint um, from our prior renovation um, paint projects and use it because we've got lots of extra paint. It's a small space. It shouldn't use a ton. So um, it should be good. Um, we cleared out all of the, the shades and curtains and things out of here. Some of them were pretty gross and dated. I am, was able to salvage some of the lace curtains that were in here. So hopefully I'll be able to use them in another room. And we have lots of old roller shades. So my mind is kind of brewing on how I can reuse those, maybe paint them or stencil them or add fabric to them or something because they're really lovely and very utilitarian and they're, I just feel like we need to be able to reuse them. So anyway, um, I'm gonna paint a little radiator cover. So not just the cutest little white radiator. Um, so I'll be kind of zhuzhing that up. But the room itself, we want to be able to use sort of as a reading room, um, an extra bedroom, but just it's got such good energy up here. It's really bright and sweet. And um, hopefully someday when we have retreats and events and people to come stay with us again, um, you can get, you can spend some time up here for one of these bedrooms. So anyway, my plan is to get the ceiling painted today. I'm going to be taping um, hopefully the walls. Maybe I'll do some stenciling. You know how I love to stencil everything right now and it just adds such an extra little special touch. So we're putting books in here, crystals, a bed, a soft rug, and it will be just a sweet place to hang out. So I will keep you posted. Oh, the other thing that we're gonna be doing in here. Um, if you look up, this is the original light fixture from 1910. So it's sort of a bronzy gold looking thing. And yeah, that light bulb is super ugly, but um, it works, it's fine, it's functional. Um, it has the pull string on it, but at some point they added the switch, which takes just a second to come on. Um, so it's a functional light, it just looks, and maybe it'll look cuter once I start getting some other things done in here. We can find a shade or something to fancy it up a little bit because we are unapologetically fancy here at the Mystical Magical Mansion. So anyway, if you need me today, I'll be painting. Um, I will hopefully get some pictures to you later this week, um, how things look once it gets finished up a little bit, but I'll be turning on a little music and going here. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, enjoy this. We're jumping into March, into spring. And um, if you guys have projects or something that you're working on, like share pictures and your things too. Um, I love seeing everybody's home projects with their, how they're coming along. So. Anyway, thank you for joining me at the Mystical Magical Men, Mystical Magical Men, blah, Mystical Magical Mansion on our special Mondays. So, wow, I couldn't hardly get that out. Okay, so have a great day, stay well, and I hope to see you soon.